Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Joni Liu. I'm the author of a bestseller called Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game, and I'm the founder of Concussion Answers and Extraordinary Sports Medicine. And I'm back this week with a new story, and it's about Sidney Crosby. Now, I was supposed to be talking about him last week, but unfortunately I had a very important meeting that I needed to attend, so had to uh, skip that, postpone it. And, well, this week, Sydney is actually, hi, Salish. Uh, so Sydney is actually a Stanley Cup champion this week. And um, I guess uh, he, uh, the P Pittsburgh Penguins and him put uh, the Nashville Predators to sleep uh, in good order. And so, well, okay, so P.K. Subban will have to wait another year. To, uh, for another chance at a Stanley Cup. I mean, he's another one of my favorite players, too. Well, Sidney Crosby, you know, he's such a success story. And the thing is, is that he is a very quiet young man. It's hard to believe that he's been here for 12 years already. He was drafted as an 18-year-old with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the thing is, is that he was his draft was highly anticipated because he was already a big, huge star, even at the age of 14. You know, he got his first sponsorship when he was still a teenager. It was amazing. And so he was already starting to make money at a very young age. But the thing is, it doesn't seem to have changed him at all. He's a very private person. He doesn't have an Instagram uh, account. He doesn't talk about his personal life. Nobody knows where he lives. You know, he, he's just a very private person, and he, this is the way it's going to be. So it's really quite amazing how he shaped his life. Now, the thing is, is that he had a major, major concussion um, in January 1st, 2011. And that's the reason why I became interested in concussions and treating them and the problem with concussions. Because it took him nearly two years to come back from that concussion. Nearly two years. And it's because his doctors, and he had the best doctors, they were so confused I do the same in my hospital. Oh, you mean treating concussions? Ah. So the interesting story about him is that it was so... Well, welcome, Sandra. So it was so... It was, it was probably kind of embarrassing because nobody really knew what to do about him. And he was the one who really brought concussions into uh, the spotlight. And, you know, normally I don't pay much attention to sports injuries in professional athletes because, you know, it's pretty tough how they do it. They're playing a lot of games and they're working themselves into, um, into as much peak performance and expect it to, uh, to perform every night that they're out there, you know. So it's not an easy life even though they're paid really well. Okay, so there's a lot of wear and tear on a professional or elite athlete's body. So I didn't really pay much attention until I, I started realizing that, geez, you know, why is it taking so long? So I started to do the research and realized that, for one thing, the advice to uh, take several days off was not really very good. And I realized that they thought that taking several days off is actually a treatment, but it's not a treatment. Doing nothing is never a treatment. And so they started downgrading his symptoms and saying that they were concussive, concussion-like symptoms. And they kept turning around his diagnosis. They really didn't know what was wrong with him. But he finally came back. And um, so he actually had... Uh, he's actually had at least four concussions, and he had one early in the season, in the 2016-2017 season, and he had one during the playoffs against the Washington Capitals, where which is the team that gave him his very first one. Now, it was kind of interesting because he bounced back from this fourth one the quickest, okay? It, it bounced back the quickest, and I guess even during... Sometime else during the playoffs, there was another time when it really looked bad for him. And so people were complaining about 
um, welcome Easy Coming, Easy Gaming. Um, he was, uh, and the um, so people were complaining that the concussion spotters weren't doing their job, and and they were even wringing their hands about this fourth one because he came back so fast. He, I mean, he did miss one game. And uh, they ended up beating the Washington Capitals for the conference final. So they were the conference champions. And so they got into the final for the Stanley Cup. And um, it, it's, I always find it, I, I find it really amazing. It really came to me quite clear about how s elite score, uh, goal scorers like Ovechkin and Sidney Crosby can shell it out and take it to it's because they're not small people okay so they can actually give it as much as they can take it and so they're very strong guys for sure I mean Sydney is going to be um, he's going to be turning 30 this year which again you know I find amazing so he could be playing he probably still has many more good years under his belt but He's only played for Pittsburgh. This is their third Stanley Cup, and odds makers are already saying that they can probably do a three-peat, which would be quite amazing because nobody has done that in a very long time. Okay, here I am. So it's, it's quite amazing to see this sort of thing happen. And for Sydney, because of the fact that he came back so quickly after his fourth concussion, it just makes me think that he's not afraid of it, okay? He's not afraid of brain injury, and probably the people around him aren't afraid of it at all either. I mean, he's doing exactly what he wants to do, and what he wants to do is to play hockey. And maybe the Stanley Cup is a goal, I don't know, but his love for hockey is very well known, and and when he was a young boy, his father had him shooting into the family dryer <laughs> with, the, with the door open, of course. And he perfected his, his aim. You know, his, his accuracy was spot on because of the things that he did. So because of the fact that he woke me up to the problem with concussions. It started me on a four-year journey to study it and to see what the top researchers were saying about it. So the thing about concussions is that they are now finding that it is not a good idea for extended rest. You know, one or two days is fine, but don't overdo the rest for a concussion, even if it's a severe one, because I'm saying what's really important here is to get back into a normal life as soon as possible, because the research, and there are now, you know, more than just a couple of studies now, there, it's been coming out in the last couple of years, that it's far more important to just take one or two days off and then get back into real life as soon as possible. So that's the first thing that you've got to be doing when you think you have a concussion. And so get back into life as soon as possible. That's the message here. And the thing is, is that you're probably stressed out over something that happened to you prior to the concussion. Hello. And the thing is, is that that is what affects the brain. Okay. In fact, stress affects every part of the body because the stress response is extremely powerful and it can go against you okay I don't know Canada <laughs> okay and hello hello Murat Duman 67 I hope I pronounced your name correctly there so Sidney Crosby is a champion because he didn't let his brain injury get to him ever again. I think it was really tough being away from the game for that first two years and it really made him think about what he really wanted in life because the thing is is that every time he came back he was racking up the points so you could never actually keep him down when he was going okay. Hockey was always what he wanted to do that was his number one thing in all his entire life and so he just eventually just learned to just pick himself up and ignore that 
specter of a brain injury because he was never going back in the past and wow did he ever recover and now he's Stanley Cup champion again for the third time and maybe they'll do it again three times in a row in 2018 so only time will tell so stay tuned I'm really proud of a guy like Sidney Crosby conquering his his obstacles and every single one of us can do the same thing so again, I'm Dr. Jonine Liu, founder of Extraordinary Sports Medicine and Concussion Answers. And if you or anybody you care about is suffering from PCS or concussion right now, please send them to Amazon to get my best-seller book, Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. And I'll see you next week with another story. Bye.